Hi guys, welcome back to Comageddon. Uh, this is a Funko Pop review. I'll be doing it on Firestorm today from DC's Legends of Tomorrow CW television series. He is number 381 of the Funko Pop collectibles. The character is portrayed by Franz Drama on the show as Jefferson Jackson and the physical appearance of Firestorm. A former high school athlete whose pro career was derailed by an injury who now works as an auto mechanic. He serves as the other half of the character Firestorm with Martin Stein. The producers decided to create Jax as the other half of Firestorm to have him be someone in his early 20s and different from Ronnie's Firestorm, bringing comedy and camaraderie with Stein. The character was first introduced on The Flash. The Firestorm character was originally portrayed by Robbie Amell until The Flash Season 1 finale where the character of Ronnie Raymond died but whose body was never recovered. In the comics, Firestorm debuted in Firestorm the Nuclear Man number 1 from March 1978 and was created by Gary Conway and Al Milgram. The history of Firestorm is a lengthy one, so for the sake of this video, I'll simplify it and possibly go further into detail during a comic Again origin someday. If that's an episode you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to fast track it. High school student Ronnie Raymond and Nobel Prize winning physicist Martin Stein were caught in a nuclear accident that allowed them to fuse into the nuclear man Firestorm. Due to Stein's being unconscious during the accident, Raymond was prominently in command of the Firestorm form, with Stein a voice of reason inside his mind able to offer Raymond advice on how to use their powers without actually having any control over their dual form. The second form of Firestorm was Ronnie Raymond, Martin Stein, and Mikhail Arkadin. When Conway left the series in 1986, John Ostrander, with artist Joe Brozowski, began writing the Firestorm stories. Ostrander sought to make Firestorm more relevant to the world and a good deal grittier. Uh, his first major story arc pitted Firestorm against the world. As a hero, Acting on a suggestion from a terminally ill Professor Stein, demanded that the United States and the Soviet Union destroy all of their nuclear weapons, uh, similar to what Superman did in Superman IV The Quest for Peace. After tussles with the Justice League and most of his enemies, Firestorm faced off against the Russian nuclear superhero Pozar in the Nevada desert, where they had an atomic bomb dropped on them. A new Firestorm resulted a fusion of the two heroes. This new firestorm was composed of Ronnie Raymond and the Russian Mikhail Arkadin, but controlled by the disembodied amnesiac mind of Martin Stein. Later, after Ronnie's death during the Identity Crisis miniseries, where Shadow Thief impaled Raymond with Shining Knight's sword, the residual essence of Firestorm funneled into the body of teenager Jason Roosh. Ronnie eventually returned within the Firestorm Matrix in Firestorm Number 9, remaining with Jason as part of Firestorm until he appeared to dissipate in Firestorm number 13. Eventually, it was revealed that Jason could merge with someone as Firestorm by simply making eye contact with them during transformation. Though Jason does not make an appearance in DC's Legends of Tomorrow, a new character by the name of Jefferson Jackson, or Jax as his friends and teammates call him, does feature much of Jason's background in the comics. Stein exhibits symptoms that the Firestorm Matrix has become unstable without a partner after Ronnie Raymond dying at the end of season one, endangering Stein's life. The team searches for a likely candidate among people who have been affected by the dark matter explosion in a similar manner to who also possess the same blood type. Jax ultimately becomes the new partner, a former high school football star like Ronnie in the comics. Jax was injured by the particle accelerator explosion, ending his collegiate career before it started. Jax is hesitant at first to become Firestorm's new half, but agrees when the other candidate uses the powers for revenge. Jax and Stein later leave Central City to train in using their Firestorm powers. So now that I've got you guys caught up on the story of Firestorm, I want to go into the details of this vinyl figure. As with most of the Funko Pop vinyls, the only articulation Firestorm has is his head swivel, being able to turn side to side and all the way around. As you can see, the Quantum Splicer, which is used in the Arrowverse TV shows, is prominently featured correctly on his chest. He has that nice red and yellow jacket underneath as his Firestorm uniform with black and red pants and black boots, which is completely screen accurate to his appearance in the CW Arrowverse. He has the fire atop his head, which fades from clear orange at the roots to clear yellow throughout.
He also holds two of the same designed fireball in his hands, again made out of the transparent colored plastic. The detail on this character is just amazing. Being my very first Funko Pop vinyl figure, I just can't get over how much detail they were able to accurately display in such a small figure. I've always loved the Firestorm character ever since I first discovered him on the old Super Powers cartoon as a kid. The 1980s action figure was probably my favorite of the entire toy line, and I had them all, along with all the vehicles and the playset. So when I saw this figure at my local Target, and being the only one of him that was there, I had to have it. Overall, it's a great figure. I love how they designed the transparent color flames, and how they stayed true to the TV show version of him, with all the little details. I can't wait to get more Firestorm Funkos. I mean, there are just so many to choose from now. And I'm glad Firestorm was my first. He's definitely made me into a Funko Pop vinyl collector. <laughs>